take time to read. When asked to comment on a post, take some time to read through each of the previous discussion post responses before writing your own response. And 10. Think before you type. What you share in an online classroom becomes part of a digital record. I hope that you observe these guidelines to help you in your online learning. May you have a wonderful school year. Ayan, so good afternoon class. Ayan, magandang hapon po. Ayan, mag magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Am I loud and clear? Yes, sir. Am I loud and clear? Yes, oh, yes sir. Parang may oh. nakausti na doon sa buo. Ano pa yan? <laughs> anyway, so... Ayan, so isang magandang, magandang, magandang hapon sa inyong class. Welcome back again sa ating uh, lecture. Ano, wait lang. Magulo yung buho ko. Wait lang. <laughs> anyway, so yun lang naman. Ang, ano, ayan, so kamusta ang inyong Holy Week? Ayan, kamusta ang inyong Holy Week? Konting, ano lang, konting, konting kaganapan sa mga buhay-buhay. Tayo ba ay nagnilay-nilay sa ating mga uh, kasalanan char? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, I mean, uh, kamusta ngayon yung follow week? Ma, okay ba? Okay naman ba? Eh, you can use the chat box, no? To... <laughs> eh, may nakausli nga kanina, man, si, ano, si Jessa. May nakausli nga dito kanina, o... Oh, Ewan ko ba dito sa ano, sa nagbupit ng buho ko, bakit niya pinausli yung kabilang side? Anyway, so... Ayan, so balik na tayo sa ating, ano, kamusta, ano, uh, discussion natin. Okay, so on the last, uh, the, the last time natin na uh, uh, pinaresent natin ang inyong mga role-playing, no? I'm so happy kasi you did your best. Actually, nireplay ko. <laughs> nireplay ko yung, ano, yung, yung ating video, yung ating uh, na-present kahapon. Sabi ko, ay, ayos din pala ito mag-present yung ating mga, ano, kahit online ba. Alam mo yun, kahit online uh, or distance learning yung ginagawa natin, still... nagawa pa rin talaga ng, may mga grupo pala talaga nakagawa ng maayos with their presentations no so i'm so happy kasi <clears throat> nagawa niya yun ng ano ng maayos kahit na may struggle sa internet may struggle sa mga classmate yung kasama sa grupo still nagawa niya pa rin siya na maayos ayan so uh, yung mga role playing natin no accepting the different uh ano yun guest whether the guest has a uh, Uh, an appointment or without appointment and then uh, paano kayo gagawa ng uh, appointments sa certain kind of company or people okay, na pinapa-appoint sa inyo ng boss. So that will be ano eh, ano yan eh, magiging, uh, magiging base na yan pag nagtrabaho na kayo uh, sa amin, nung parang trabaho na kayo sa real world, no? uh, you will do those things. And uh, marami pa tayong, uh, actually we have uh, two more as uh, uh, slides or points, no? Uh, two more weeks uh, before we proceed to sa final exam nyo ng ano no ng ating OMS. So yung final exam nyo pala sa ano nung ano uh, na I mean yung midterm exam nyo na karaan. So pina-stop ko muna kasi that that exam is for the finals. Okay kasi uh, tinanong ko si Ma'am Susan about doon sa directions bakit lumabas yung uh, exam na yon. Sabi niya eh, hindi pa dapat lalabas yung exam na yon kasi nga that for we for finals kasi nga we have only few Uh, notes lang sa ating uh, FOP. So uh, dahil doon, so kaya medyo nag nag medyo nag slow ano tayo nag slug okay nag slug movement tayo sa ating uh, class kasi this this topic na susunod sa atin this will be the second to the last topic. So uh, medyo ma medyo kaunti lang yung pagkasamahan natin pero still it will mark no our uh, fundamentals or basic no. Uh, operation sa ating uh, uh, ating pagtatrabaho no it will help you uh, to uh, to finish no the duties of a uh, certain uh, basic requirements for a uh, secretary okay so let me now share my uh, screen and so we will proceed to our uh, second to the last uh, topic Asa na yun? And yan, present. Ayan. Okay, so nakikita nyo ba yung aking screen? Nakikita nyo ba? Nabuview nyo na ba yung ating uh, ating notes? Ay, so, apo, sir. Ulit, bro. 
Kulay brown na ba yung screen niyo at kulay brown na? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. so... Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, dito sa ating topic natin ngayon. By the way nga pala, no, segue ko lang. Meron pala akong sinensay nyo sa ano, no, sa... sa inyong niyo, di ba nung nakaraang linggo nag uh, nagsend ako ng uh, uh, parang magla-like kayo, magsa-subscribe at saka magko-comment ng inyong section at uh, uh, branches. No, kindly ano no, kindly do it. Then later part, uh, ibibigay ko yung ano, uh, wait lang, wait lang. Punta kayo dun sa link para ano, mamaya mamimigay ulit tayo ng 50 pesos load. <laughs> Mamimigay ulit tayo ng 50 pesos load. So kindly go to this link and uh, uh, wait lang, stop ko muna yung ano, no? stop ko muna yung pag-share para makabalik tayo dun sa ano. Kindly uh, comment this word. Ayan, para pagating dun sa ano, pagating dun sa site na pupuntahan natin, no, uh, diretso agad tayo dun sa, kasi may hanapin na yung keyword, no? So, ang keyword na gagamitin natin dito, wait lang, ito yung link. Paki-comment yung in yung uh, section course. So, paki uh, paki-type itong lalagay ko dito sa batas. Okay? Tapos ito yung link. No? Kindly comment this this word, three letters lang yon, three letters lang. Okay, then ito yung link. Ayan. So nilagay ko sa GC natin yung uh, uh, yung link kung saan kayo magko-comment ng FOP and then one of you will be the winner okay of 50 pesos load. Ayan. So uh, this is another ano yan, new track yan. Still still same video pa rin yan ng ano no na pinakita ko sa inyo na nakaraan doon sa tawag nito, yung sa test the way. Yun din yung video na yan. So all you have to do is just simply comment FOP. Okay, and then you just, uh, yeah, yun yung link na gagawin ninyo. And don't forget to subscribe. Ayan, so kailangan nakasubscribe kayo dyan. Okay, dyan sa, ano na yan, sa link na yan. Okay, so <clears throat> yun lang naman ang ating uh, procedure. Hanggang mamaya yan, no? uh, iaano ko yan sa inyo, ipapalo up ko yan sa inyo. Para at least marami-rami yung, in, uh, marami-rami yung uh, makaka- Uh, chance no na manalo ng 50 pesos na low. Oh, ba? Diba? <laughs> Ayan, so send ko na rin din yung attendance ninyo no para secured na kayo para sa sa attendance today. Send ko na lang din yung attendance. But para hindi na kayo nagsasalita. <laughs> Ayan. So ayan yung attendance natin. So for those who are classmates na papasok pa lang ngayon no, at asking for the attendance, you can copy okay, copy the attendance link. Okay? And then post nyo lang din dyan. Sa mga classmates nyo na, na nagahanap, no? nawawala yung ano ko dito, yung buko dito para kung napapano. Tanggalin ko nga yung ano, background ko. Ayan. Kasi parang napapano yung dito yung side mo. Okay. Hindi nga nakaayos yung buko. Sorry na. <laughs> so, balik ulit tayo doon sa ating uh, balik ulit tayo doon sa ating video uh, sa ating presentation. Sorry. Okay. Ayan. Ba't parang ang tahimik nyo, class? Hello? Narinig nyo ba ako? Okay. Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, our learning outcomes for today's uh, lecture, not for today's video. Okay. Okay. Lecture natin ngayon is learning, no? Learning outcome natin is distinguished incoming and outcoming outgoing mails. So, trabaho yan ng ating uh, mga secretary. na 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 didistract ako dito sa maliit na buhok na to. Wait lang ha. Nandig na ayusin ko lang siya.
Ayan. Medyo nadidistract kasi ako sa, sa, sa book. Hindi ko alam kung bakit kasi bumaba pa yung book ko. Okay, so uh, follow the steps in handling incoming and uh, outgoing meals. Okay, so dalawa lang yung learning outcomes natin pero sobrang haba ng notes natin. I, I, I already prepared 16 slides no, for, for the discussion ngayon and then kapag hindi natin siya natapos, we will continue uh, on the next week. So medyo slug lang tayo kasi masyado mabilis yung ating lecture o yung ating notes. Okay, so uh, next slide tayo. Okay, importance of handling incoming correspondence. Okay, pag sinabi natin correspondence, these are the different uh, meals, no? Or our items that we need to uh, to do, okay, na kailangan na sa trabaho, na, uh, sa trabaho natin bilang secretary, no? One of the executive most time-consuming is uh, yet important daily task is, is what? The assimilating of information from the countless sheets of paper addressing to him. Ibig sabihin daw, uh, ang, ang mabigat na trabaho, pero napaka-importante, no, trabaho is yung pagka, para mag-receive no, ng different uh, information that address to him. So ibig sabihin, whatever uh, data na napupunta sa ating mga boss or executive, dadaan daw or trabaho ng secretary ang mag-assimilate uh, ng different kind of information. Since the secretary is usually the first to receive the incoming mail, she or he can save the executive vote time and effort by her efficient handling of the mail. Kasi ang different mails kasi natin, it came from different companies or people okay, that... Uh, that uh, that that is very important to our boss or ating mga managers or supervisors kasi yan kasi yung way of connection okay or updating the different details needed by uh, by our executive boss or the owner of the company no so trabaho natin bilang secretary ang mag-receive no ng incoming mail okay so that he will save time and effort and mas marami siyang mas magawa okay in the company and syempre magandang opportunity yan sa atin kasi we can also establish communication no to our boss and to other people okay within the environment no so kaya importante sa isang mga skills ng uh, di ba pinag-usapan natin yan in the first weeks that we had uh, the important of uh, i mean one of the skills that the uh, secretary should have is the communication skills, the organization skills, no? And uh, the different uh, skills na pagkikip ng mga records. Importante yan. Okay? Ngayon, na-emphasis naman natin ngayon, why should the secretary assimilate, no? The information. Okay, next. What are the different supplies to be needed when handling mail? Okay, bilang secretary dapat meron kang certain uh, supplies or tools, no? Uh, in order for you to handle a different kind of meals. Okay, so number one natin is ruler. Okay, so alam naman natin yung tangible na ruler, no? What is ruler, no? Letter opener. This is new. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if, if you know this uh, tool or supply, okay? Dito sa pag-open uh, pag ng letter, it's look like a uh, small paring knife. No? Eh, sa amin kayo sa, sa, ano, sa, sa kusina kasi paring knife yung pinakamaliit naming kutsilyo. Dito sa, ano, dito sa, sa mail natin, so mer para siyang maliit na cutter no? na pang, pang bukas ng ating letter. Okay? So it's like a sword, it's like a, uh, a staple wire na merong blade no? to open the letter. Okay? So, yun, yung, yun naman yung tools na ginagamit natin doon. Hindi, hindi natin ginagamit yung dalire pang bukas ng letter or kaya pinukunit na lang natin ng basta-basta kasi probably kapag pinunit natin yung mail is masama din yung item na nasa loob kapag pinunit mo. So, very ano ka doon, maging, maging maingat ka sa pagbubukas ng mail. Okay? Especially those mail na hindi naman dapat bubuksan. 
Okay, may mga ganung may mga ganung classing mail kasi later later you will know do those kind of uh, emails what are the different emails that should not be opened by the secretary and what should be open, no? So yeah, so iwasan natin mag magpunit no ng mail okay sa gilid kasi di ba dati na 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 I don't know if you if you do that, no? Pinupunit niyo sa gilid yung uh, email or yung uh, ayo email, yung mail or yung envelope na dineliver no sa inyo so iiwasan niyo yung pag pag iiwasan niyo yung pagpunit ng ganoon para hindi masama yung nasa loob okay uh, tape yan kailangan din natin yan stapler with staple wire ayan staple remover ayan colored pencil ayan is staple remover wag tayong gumamit ng any item para matanggal yung staple wire na nakadikit dun sa papel Diba usually gina, yung iba gumagamit ng ball pen no to uh, to remove the the claw no, ng ng stapler. So wag mo wag kang gumamit ng ng pen. Okay, to remove the claw ng uh, ng staple wire para dumiretso siya ng ganyan. Okay? You need to get a staple remover kasi that's what that's that's uh, supplies no needed yan ng ating uh, mga secretary or sa uh, mga office personnel. Okay, colored pencil or pens. Ayan, so kailangan yan. Okay, paper clips. Okay, yung iba gumagamit ng ano, yung, ano yun, yung, yung kulay black, no, na clips. Okay, folder. Okay, mark by incoming calls. So yun daw yung folder na, kala, na nakalagay is incoming, not calls, mails. No, date or rubber stamp. Ayan. So, itong date or rubber stamp na to, ito yung ni-stamp doon sa uh, papel na naglalagay ng mga dates. No? Okay? And stamp pad. Ayan. That uh, having the, the, the word receive. Ayan. And date and time and signature. Ayan. May mga ganun kayo makikita ng stamp pad. Or stamp. Sorry, no? Medyo uminit kasi sa area. Okay. So those are different suppliers na needed okay when handling mail or those are basics no uh tools or supplies na dapat meron tayo okay sa ating opisina not just a uh, uh, pan paper mga ganyan that's that's a uh, common na uh, sa buong ano natin sa buong organization natin okay ng ating gamit. Okay. So now we will proceed to different categories of mail. Okay? So we have Uh, four categories of mail, uh, personal mail, priority mail, general business mail, and bulk matter category. Okay, so those are different mails, okay, na ma makikita nyo or madidiscuss natin later part. Okay, so let us first define the personal mails. Okay, guidelines, okay, to open, no, or to not open, okay, the different mails that we have. The personal mail which is not be open. So dapat hindi natin binubuksan ng mga personal mail kasi that is directly uh, go to our bosses or supervisor, supervisor or superiors, no? It should be not open or should not be not open. No. Okay, so wag na wag niyo bubuksan yung mga personal mails na yan. Okay? Mamaya kapag kapag nabuksan niyo siya, gagawa kayo ng letter. Okay, kapag na accidentally hindi niya naman na hindi niya naman napansin na nakalagay pala doon, nakalagay pala doon is personal mail, no? Pag open mo to Mr. ganito ganyan ganyan, your blah 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 blah, nakalagay sa loob, no? So pag pag mga ganong klasing mail na hindi, uh, hindi naman natin sinasadyang nabuksan kasi part kasi natin na binubuksan dapat yung mga email, all you have to do is you need to create a letter. Okay? Letter apologizing that accident uh, that na naubusan yung mail accidentally and kailangan mo ulit siyang i-tape. Okay? So, ilalagyan mo siya ng scotch tape or ididikit mo ulit siya na parang silyado ulit. Okay? Pero syempre, mapapansin niyo ng iyong boss or supervisor, no, na bukas yung email. So, that's the time your letter Okay, indicates that you are accidentally, I mean, you accidentally open the personal mail. 
Okay? So, yun lang yung procedure na pwede niyong gawin. All you have to do is to write a letter. Okay? Na accidentally nabuksan nyo yung mail. Okay? Na personal. Okay? Nakuha ba? Okay, next. Another type of mail that we had is the priority mail, which is to be open immediately. Okay? The type of service used by the sender, by the sender is one clue to priority mail. Mayroon siyang tatak na priority mail. Okay, so pag sinabing priority mail, then it that is the word from the word priority, no? You need to prioritize that kind of mail. Okay? Uh, and uh, it includes, okay, telegram, registered mail, or mail, issued mail, special uh, special delivery certified mail. So yan yung makikita nyo dun sa mail kapag priority siya or under siya the category ng priority. The other items that are considered priority, okay, are those marked with rush, personal, and confidential. Okay? So, pag may mga marks sila na ganyan, so it, it goes to a category of priority mail. Any telephone message or mail that you know your boss is eager to see should be treated as priority mail. Sabi, sinabihan ka ng boss mo, o mag-e-email si JST sa company natin. Uh, pakisabihan ako kapag nandyan na yung mail. So, automatic yun, kahit wala siyang sino kahit wala siyang nakalagay na mark na rush personal confidential or kaya priority mail but the boss is asking you okay to uh, to to send us up the the mail na sinend ng sa send ng GIST, then it should be treated as priority mail okay kasi inaabangan na yan ng boss mo inaabangan na yan ng may-ari ng company or ng supervisor mo or ng manager mo. Okay? Then, it should be categorized as a priority main. Okay? Do you get my point? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, another... Uh, ay, sige po. Ayan, another guidelines that we had is the general business mail. What is this general business mail? Relating to an office operation which is to be open as soon as possible, general business mail includes orders, remittances, inquiries, inter-office memos, and invoice report. Okay, so that, that kind of mail, okay, are what you call general. Because it's, it, it, it is not just uh, specified to one person, but is is uh, but is uh, conducted by a general department the general information or general persons okay concerning to that kind of mail okay kagaya ng example natin yung mga orders okay orders probably uh, for example sa hotel no uh, pag nag pag nag pag nag uh, kapag nag uh, post ng mail ng orders Probably it came from the housekeeping department, from FNB department, from engineering department. So it concerns everyone. So that's what you call general business mail. Okay? It concerns not just one person, not just your boss, but the other departments or persons within the company or uh, uh, departments or organizations. No? So that's an example of general business mail. Okay, so it, it is uh, categorized, okay, into uh, open as soon as possible. Not just, hindi naman siya sinasabing uh, same like priority, no? Uh, nandun tayo sa, nandun tayo sa uh, priority mail ang general business, but it's not, uh, it's not just very, very priority or uh, uh, ano siya, kabal parang you can do it later on. Okay, all you have to do is to, 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 to choose the meal what are the categor or categorized uh, priority, no? Then after you categorize all the email into priority, okay, then you will, you will now proceed to the general business mail. Okay, so the next, uh, the next uh, guidelines is the bulk matter category. What is this bulk matter uh, category? It includes what? The newspapers, books, magazines, circulars. Pag sabing circulars, these are letters, no? 
okay, or memos, okay, professional journals, catalogs, packages, miscellaneous printed made circulars, package, publications, and other less urgent materials which are ordinarily processed only after the mail has been opened. Okay, ito yung, and itong tinasabi nating bulk matter categories, uh, example to ng, uh, pag sinabing bulk, so syempre, marami, no? So all you have to do is to open the box, open the seal, uh, or open the certain kind kung saan mang nakalagay itong bulk matter categories na to, no? Kapag binuksan mo yan, saka mo ngayon, ipaprior, saka mo ngayon, ikakategorize. Anong klaseng mail ang dumating sa company mo? Okay, newspaper ba to? Books ba to? Magazines ba to? Circulars ba to? Or other packages no? from different departments concerned? Okay? Itong uh, bulk matter na to. Okay, so again, ang bulk matter categories will, uh, ano to? Materi I mean, our materials which are ordinarily, ordi ordinarily processed only after mail has been opened. Okay? Another natin is use your judgment to determine the priority of bulk matter items. Some may be important enough to add to the general business category and some is not. Okay? So yun yung ating guidelines no? in uh, deceiving our mails. Again, personal mails, uh, priority mails, general general business mails, and bulk matter category mails. Okay, those are four mails that we need that the secretary or the staff personnel should recognize. No, the importance. Next. We will now proceed to the steps in handling incoming mail. Okay? So, in the steps of handling mail that we had is, number one is sorting. Okay? Sorting, it includes the names, the company, the numbers, the, the items. Okay? Whether it's a, it is a thick or thin items. Okay? Sorting, uh, whether it's a personal, whether it is priority mail whether it is, is, it is uh, can be considered as general business mails. So that's how you sort. Okay? So kung baga parang sa amin, sa, sa HRS, no, ang tawag namin sa sorting is Siri. Okay? Siri or Siri. Okay? It means sort. No? You, are, you are sorting the items. Depends on the color, the size, the type, the... the uh, the importance or the urgency of the mail of the of the of the of the thing ganon. so that's how how we do it so same thing same thing din sa inyo no as uh, a part ng uh, ng magiging office industry natin so you should know how to sort yung mga damit nga natin sino sort natin binubukod natin yung puti sa dikolor yung maong sa hindi maong okay so ganun din sa business natin Okay, dapat ina-apply din natin yung proper sorting okay, ng ating items. Okay, next natin is opening the mail. Okay, uh, opening the mail, may mamaya ma 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 discuss ko pa sa inyo. Removing the contents, date and time stopping, routing, preparing mail for presentation, and presenting the mail. Okay, so those are the different steps no, in handling incoming mail. Okay, let's proceed to opening the mail. Okay, opening the mail uh, can be considered uh, different categories like opening envelopes by hand. Okay, so pag sinabi natin opening envelopes by hand, it means that we will open the envelopes through our letter opener tool. Okay, a secretary should open the boss mail with handheld letter opener. Okay, so again ha, pag hindi pag sinabi natin opening envelopes by hand, it doesn't mean na yung, yung daliri mo o yung kamay mo ang ipangbubukas mo ng literal ng letter. All you have to do is you will open the letter using a handheld letter opener. Okay, baka mamaya gupitin, uh, ano yan, uh, punutin mo na lang yan by hand. So it doesn't mean like that, no? 
Okay, another is opening envelopes by hand can be speed up by stocking the envelopes face down, okay, so that the flat are on the right or left if you were left-handed. Slit all the envelopes at one time before you begin removing the contents. As an envelopes are open, there is some danger of cutting papers inside them. As a precaution, before slitting the envelopes, tap the fair size batch of them on the desk to remove the contents towards the edge of the opposite bluff. Okay, ano-ano ang sinasabi doon? Yung envelope daw natin, pagbubuksan natin by hand using the letter opener, so all you have to do is to place on above the table. No? Na yung envelope is nakaharap sa iyo. Yung envelope slip. I slip, not slip, slip pala, slip. Okay? Kasi yung envelope slip na yan will uh ano yan will uh, help you, no? Okay, to open faster, faster, no? To 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 faster. Basta to open it fast, no? Kapag nakaharap sa iyo yung ano, yung slip yung slit, ayun yung nakikita nyo, ganun, na, na itsura. Ibig sabihin, itong slit na to, kaya kung nakikita ninyo sa screen, nakikita nyo ba? Itong slit na to, itong tinawag natin yes, Ayan, ito, 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 ito. Dapat nakaharap siya sa iyo. Then, saka mo gagamitin yung letter opener okay, to open the slit. So, pag right-handed ka, sa right side ka mag-start. Kung left-handed ka, sa left ka mag-start. Then, you should be careful using the letter opener. No? Again, using the letter opener is like a cutter. No? Dahan-dahan kang mag- uh, bukas ng letter so you will just simply strike okay yung slit yung slit lang ang bubuksan mo you don't need to cut no hindi mo kailangang i-cut yung slit wag mong i-cut yung slit all you have to do is to open the slit okay bubuksan lang tong slit na to hindi mo siya i-cut okay now kuha okay so that is the 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 procedure in opening envelopes by hand Okay, the next one natin is opening envelopes by machine. Okay, pag sinabi natin machine, meron kayong paglalagay ng letter, then nahayaan mo lang si machine na magbukas ng letter. Usually, ang ginagamit nun is kinakat niya yung, yung dito sa may gilid o kaya sa ibabaw na nung machine na yan. If you are required to open a okay, large volume of incoming mail, you may use the office letter opening machine. Okay, especially pag sobrang dami ng mail no like for example isang malaking ma, isang isang malaking box na yung nakaharap mo no so all you have to do is to use the machine in order for you to open the envelope the advantage of me mechanized opener it is ability to operate faster than performing the task manually okay that's the advantage no and minimize the likelihood slicing for otherwise damaging the enclosure because this kind of machine are specialized in opening the letter. Okay, they will not cut, okay, or they, they, they will not uh, tear down this letter, but it will, no, it will just uh, simply uh, slicing, no, as a hole. Ito sa may gilid or kaya sa ibabaw, okay, to open this letter. Okay, the third natin is mail open by mistake. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Kasi there are some mails that are personal that we should not open. Okay? Kasi personal nga yan eh. Okay? Pag sabing personal, it doesn't concern to the company but it concerns to the personal people directing to the mail. Okay? Now, kung haba, ano ba yung use sa'yo? Bigyan ko yun ng, 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 ng personal, no? mga personal emails that concerning to a certain kind of people within the within the company number 1 is the ano credit line okay credit line mail ito yung mga letter okay na sinesend via uh, via mail yung kanilang credit line okay credit line uh, bill 
Yung mga credit cards, no? They use the mail, this kind of paper. Tapos, dito sinesend, yung, dito nakalagay yung kanilang bill ng credit line. So that is an example of personal. Okay? Personal letter yon or personal mail yung sample nun. Kasi usually, ibang mga bosses kasi or ibang mga matataas sa posisyon, they just think, kasi sa, sa credit line kasi, meron may dalawang choice kasi na pwedeng sendan ito. Ay, the first, ano, bago-bago ka sendan, bago-bago maging mail, no? May dalawang choice ka. Eh, in the future, you will know this too. The first one is uh, sending the SOA or statement of account via email. So it means that the SOA or the statement of account no, will send via registered or valid emails. Okay, na meron ang tao. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, the second natin is the paper, no? paper mail. Pag sinabing paper mail, it is automatically uh, categorized as uh, this kind of letter. It's uh, letter mail. Okay? And kapag pinili mo yung letter mail okay, with your SOA, no? it will, ha I mean, you have the choice whether you deliver the mail to your company address or your home address. Okay, if your manager or supervisors or people within the organizations no, uh, indicates that you need to send a letter into the company, then makakatanggap talaga kayo ng mail no, na mga personal mails. Okay, so ikakategorize mo na siya ngayon. Okay, sa sample lang yan ng mga personal mails na meron tayo. Okay, so next natin is uh, this is how you do when you when you open by mistake the mail. Okay, to guard against the possibility of opening other people's mail by mistake, check the address on the envelopes as you stock them for opening. Okay, again, in order for you to prevent no, opening the mail, okay, by mistake is to categorize them by checking the addresses of the envelope okay as you stack them for for opening if you do happen to an open letter by mistake reseal it like what i said reseal it with a cellophane or tape and mark it open by mistake and sign your name so that's how you are reconciled no uh, the 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 open letter by mistake. That's how you reconcile it. Okay, kaya important, kaya gamit, gagawa kayo ng letter or gagawa kayo ng, uh, ng sign na open by mistake. Or you are just apologizing that, it's, uh, that the mail is open by mistake. Okay? So those are the ways, no? How to, uh, to do, no? Sorting the mails and opening the mails. Okay, next we go tayo with the third category. Okay, that I... Ay, no, 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 no. Pang-apat pala. <laughs> Hindi pa pala kayo third category. Opening mails pa rin tayo. Opening packages naman tayo. Okay, kapag packages naman, ito yung mga bulk, uh, ano yan, mga bulk mails natin. Okay? When the package is uh, being sealed, no, by a, a tape or a hesit tape, okay, open the package with scissor. Okay, or heavy duty razor or knife. Okay, yun. Kapag mahirap, buksan yung bulk. No? Take care and to avoid hurting yourself or damaging the content. Okay? Ito yung, napap ito yung nakikita nyo yung sa mga ano. No, no, pag, uh, kapag nag-order yung iba, yung mga vloggers, no? kapag nag-open yan ng, uh, ng uh, tawag nito, ng mails, di ba meron silang cutter? Usually, the cutter is para siyang uh, maliit na parang erasure tape. Tapos sa dulo nun may maliit na bakal na cutter. Okay, that's how you use it for, uh, you know, for preventing the damage. Okay, uh, sa items na nakapasok doon sa loob ng package. Kasi yung maliit na cutter na yon it will prevent no, uh, to touch the items in the, within the package. Okay, at the same time, it is uh, also... Uh, a way to avoid hurting yourself. 
Okay, kahit na hindi kahit naramdaman na kahit bigat na bigat ka sa pakiramdam mo, there's no <laughs> hindi mo pwedeng saktan yung sarili mo, no? Okay, 'di ba? Usually pag nag-self pity tayo, we want to die, 'di ba? We want to hurt ourselves, yung iba, yung iba nag-aano pa, nag yung iba nag nag-aano yun, naglalaslas pa kasi nga uh, you feel you feel that you are not worth, no? For something uh, for for certain kind for certain cause that being hurting you. So syempre, kapag ating sa package, okay? So iingatan mo rin sa sarili mo na dapat hindi ka rin masaktan, no? Kung yung company sinasabi sa huwag kang huwag ka dapat ng sa klase natin, okay? Sinagsasabi na avoid hurting yourself, same thing with your personal issues. Dapat i-avoid mo rin na masaktan yung sarili mo. Okay? <laughs> okay, kasi the the number one uh the number one law that you will establish to yourself in order for you to take care of yourself is to not hurting yourself. Okay? Kasi kapag kapag sinasaktan mo 'yung sarili mo, so it means you do not love you do not love yourself. Okay? Hindi mo mahal 'yung sarili mo. Okay? Now, kuha ba? Okay. So kaya wag kaya wag mong saktan 'yung sarili mo kasi it is a kind of self-love. It's a kind of love. It's what you call the self-love. Okay? So kahit anong pain, huwag mong sasaktan sarili mo. Ba't tayo napunta doon? Okay, next. Ay, sorry, sorry, bumalik, bumalik. Ano, na, na next na. If a letter is enclosed with a package, okay, place it with a general business mail. In order to identify the contents of the package, cut the mailing label from the outside wrapping and to attach it to the contents. Okay, kasi kapag mag-ano tayo ng mail, kasi may form yan. Okay, later you will see the form, no? A sample form, kung uh, yung tatawag nating routing, routing mail. Okay? Uh, makikita nyo yung sample ng letter natin mamaya. Okay, personal mail. Do not open personal mail, mail unless you are authorized to do so. Okay? Again, do not open personal mail unless you are authorized to do so. Okay? Identified by the word personal or confidential. On the type of envelope. If you open a personal letter in error, again, reseal it with the tape, mark it open by mistake, and sign your name. Okay? So, that's how you do it. The next slide. Inter-office mail. Pag sinabi natin inter-office mail, is a kind of mail, okay, that are connecting or sending within the company or business. Okay? The inter-office mail is generally, generally received in reusable envelopes called the chain envelopes. Okay? Ito yung, for example, na-receive mo yung, uh, for example, na, sa inyo, sa amin, no? Sa, sa JST. The inter-office mail example, like you are uh, applying for uh, TOR or OTR, the Official Transcript Records or Transcript of Records, if you, are, if you are applying for it, no? From your branches, it will, it will go to a uh, inter-office mail. Kasi pagpunta nyo sa mga branches ninyo, nag-sign kayo ng request, ng request okay, to, to, to have a TOR or OTR, no? after, receiving the, after receiving the request, it will now proceed to the registrars, which is uh, the different uh, uh, personnels okay, within your branches. Sila mag-aayos ng inyong uh, kung meron na kayong 4137, kung meron na kayong birth certificate, kung meron na kayong complete grades. Ayan. Ngayon kapag kapag within that process no nagkaroon ng uh, nagkaroon ng lacking ng evidences na na pwede kang mag-apply for TOR, they will send you a message. Na sabi for example, Ma, uh, Miss Jenny, paki-submit naman yung yung birth certificate before we process no the TOR or the OTR. Okay, then after that, it will put in a certain kind of envelope. And then that envelope, kapag okay na lahat ng information, the envelope will go to different branches where the, the registrars or the personal, the, the, the Miss Acid, the Miss Acid, or kaya si Mr. Jose Montenegro and the secretary of the school sign you know, your request that you have released or requesting the... Okay, requesting the the document, certain kind of documents. That's how you do. That's how they do. They do it. No, uh, that's good. That's how they do it. That's what you call a, a kind of inter-office mail. 
Okay, the other one around ko na doon ka na sa ano, doon ka na sa mismong company, no? Uh, when you are in the accounting department, when you are in the accounting department and you are needing to sign a certain, you need you need a different sign of the certain kind of people, you will place it into a single envelope, envelope okay, that can, that will be, uh, that will proceed to, for example, like, uh, pupunta siya sa procurement, uh, procurement department, pupunta siya sa, sa ano pa bang mga department ng accounting natin, uh, procurement, uh, uh, quality control, mga ganyan, or kaya, uh, sa dep sa, sa uh, department of approval mga ganyan so may mga ganong klase pag sa amin accounting kasi hindi lang naman hindi ka lang naman basta-basta pag receive sa kapag uh, pag receive or paglabas ng pera no dadaan pa yan sa mga bosses sa mga sa mga mga supervisors if they allow your the request certain kind of documents no that's how you do it so inter office mail lang yan within the within the office lang yan. within the within the company mail okay so if one is sealed, open it carefully. So, ano daw? So that the envelope can be reused, no? If the enclosed items is a letter of a memorandum, place it with the first class mail. Okay? So, memos. What is memos, no? Ang memos of memorandum, these are letter, okay, from the top management going to their subordinates or even to the ordinary people that's the example ng memo or memorandum okay it is a, it is an information a detailed information from the top management going to a lower department or a specific person okay so yan yung yan yung tinatawag nating mga memorandum no kapag ikaw nagkaroon ka ng personal memorandum ibig sabihin meron kang ginawang hindi maganda <laughs> okay or meron din naman or hindi naman i mean i'm not saying all the memos are bad all the memo the all the mem uh most of the memos are negative no okay there are memos that are for the benefit of the every employee and there are memos no directly to, directing they're directing to your performance no in the per in directing to your performance that kind of memo either appraise you or uh, warning in, war, or ha, giving you a warning. Okay? Yun yung dalawang memo kasi na pwede mong warning. Sipa person, personal, no? Okay? The, 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 per, the, the appraisal memo and the, the ano yun? Ano sabi ko kanina? <laughs> the warning memo. Okay? Usually kapag warning, ito yung mga awol. Yan yung you are, you, you are taking your absent without official leave. Mga ganyan. Tinatawag natin awol, no? Okay? Awol uh, stands for absence without official leave. And <laughs> if, 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 if there are, if you do it more times, okay, it they will give you a first warning memo no that that uh, continuous uh, number of absences will uh, suspend you for a certain uh, week or days without pay so that's the first warning may mga ganung warning no okay and then the second memo wag mo na antayin yung second memo kasi automatic kapag dumating na yung second memo mo termination yan subject to termination ka na okay Kaya hindi magandang nakaka-receive ng mga warning memos. Okay? At hindi at ang pangit pa diyan kapag nagkaroon ka ng mga termination memos, lahat ng benefit na pwedeng mo makuha, yung tawag nating back pay, mawawala yan. Kasi nandun ka sa category ng terminated ka. So pag terminated ka, there are some uh, back pay na hindi nila ibibigay sa iyo kasi nga you are you hindi ka hindi ka hindi ka talaga nakatulong sa company no kaya wag mo nang antayin yung termination mo okay if you are planning if you are not uh, if you are not happy with the company you're work for wag mo nang antayin yung termination kasi maraming mawawala sa iyo at the same time pwede ka pang ma-block no sa ibang company okay especially if that company you apply for has a different sister's company within the uh, business environment no Kasi it it will it will contribute no to to what you call this yung hindi magandang status or employment status mo okay 
Then, for the appraisal memo naman, what is this appraisal memo? Ito naman yung uh, appreciation to your work. Uh, uh, tama, to your works. No? Na kung saan nag excel ka. Okay, nag excel ka sa trabaho mo. Kapag nag excel ka, ma-receive ka ng appraisal memo that sometimes indicates of your increase, okay, which is the salary increase, or the incentives. Okay, na pwedeng ibigay sa'yo ng company. Okay, so there are, there are there are different kind of incentives. Like, they will give you a uh, a cash or they will give you a gift certificates or they will give you a travel and tour package. So those kind of incentives, no? Na dahil sa ganawa mong performance, sobrang ganda ng performance na ginawa mo at nakala, nakatulong at nakapagbigay ng milyon no, sa company mo, okay, sa company, company yung pagkatarabo mo, that's the honor or that's the due to other certain kind of people no, na nagtrabaho para mapaganda yung status ng company mo. So that's, that you need to give it to, you need to, you need, you need to give it them. Okay, give them a memo of a pay sign. Okay? Yung iba, yung another uh, memo na kung saan yung position, no? No from being a regular employee, okay, yung iba nagiging from the contractual nagiging regular, no? Yun yung mga uh, another memo, okay? Uh, from regular employee into a supervising uh, uh, position, okay? Into supervising into managerial position. Okay, so example yun ng mga apre, ano, mga memos din na maganda. Okay, nang pwede mong ma-receive within the company. So, yun, pasok yan sa tinatawag nating inter-office mail. Imagine, nagdagdagan yung ating information, no? Okay, it is, uh, if it is routine report or general information, place it with the similar materials unless you know it's something your boss is waiting for. Okay, doon sa category natin ng uh, inter-office. Kapag kailangan ni boss, then priority natin, bigyan natin kay boss. Okay, next we go tayo with the next slide. Ay. Okay, guidelines when removing the contents. Ayan. So, our meals are usually contains, uh, con con tama, contains with the letter, okay, paraphernalias and cash. Okay? Possible yan kasi na pwedeng hindi. Cash can be considered as gift check or checks. Okay? Iba ang gift checks sa checks ha. Ang gift checks is came from the other company that, that can be transferable into buying goods. That's the gift checks. Okay? For example, like yung gumagamit ng Sodexo, okay, ng, or SM uh, gift checks, Sample yan ng mga gift checks natin. Pag sinabi mong cheque, eh, it is a kind of paper okay, from an issuing bank. Okay, for example, BDO, uh, Union Bank, Security Bank, na merong nakalagay, may na, na kung saan naka-indicates yung amount no, kung magkano yung uh, ibibigay no, sa company. Okay, that's example ng checks natin yun. Okay, special care must be taken care when removing the contents from the envelope, especially if that envelope is having the different the different contents. Yun din yung isang ano, isang avoidance natin. Parang hindi ata ang tama lang siya. Para yun din ang isang avoidance natin kung bakit natin kailangan gumamit ng mga tools, okay, in opening the envelopes. What if cheque yung nasa loob ng envelope tapos bigla mong pinunit doon sa side eh nasa side yung cheque. Okay? Do ang ang mangyayari ngayon, mawawala ng silbi, mawawala ng size yung cheque. Eh pera na yun eh. It's a convertible into cash. Sayang. Okay? If we are not pro we, if we are not following the guidelines properly, it will uh, uh, it will cause a problem. No? So, kailangan maging aware din tayo sa mga ganong klaseng bagay, especially if you are uh, in the position of receiving mails. Okay? Hindi natin alam sino-sino ang pwede magtrabaho sa office, but you need to be aware of this uh, of these uh, things. Kasi hindi natin alam nga yung nasa loob ng uh, nasa loob ng mails na matatanggap natin. It could be a letter or simply just a letter 
or it could be money okay within the envelope okay and then kapag nagkamali ka ng pagbukas ng envelope tapos ilagay mo lang so pwede mo hindi mo pwede ay ito ah kapag napu- nabuksan mo yung envelope let's say na pulit mo yung envelope tapos hindi mo siya hindi it is not uh, it is not ano hindi siya pwedeng gamitan na opening by mistake tapos nakalagay doon check eh, na punit mo opening by mistake hindi pwede yon okay kasi pagkakamali mo yon and that will lead your your ano your termination kasi those are important meals okay kasi yun yung mga importanteng bagay kung bakit natin pinag-aaralan yung mga yan kasi you need to be aware on those things ay sorry hindi ko pa kasi na experience yung matanggap ng mga mail na ganyan Okay, hindi pa ako nakatanggap ng mga mail kasi natanggap ko lang sa bahay Meralco. <laughs> Meralco bill. Okay? Water bill. Mga, mga utilities bill. Pero pagdating sa company, maging maingat kayo sa pagbubukas ng mail. Kung kayo man na mag, ma, mapupunta sa posisyon ng pagtanggap no, ng mga mails, maging maingat kayo sa pagbubukas ng mails. Kasi it could, could have, uh, or it could, uh, uh, okay, ano yan eh, pwede siyang maglaman ng valuable items no sa mail natin. Okay? You might uh you might overlook something and throw it away in a supposedly empty envelopes. Okay? So maging ano kayo diyan, maging aware kayo diyan. An enclosure should be attached immediately to a letter it accompanies. Large enclosures should be fastened to a back of the letter, small enclosures such as cards, pictures, brochures should be attached on the front. Okay. Anong, anong sinasabi nitong uh, attachment na to? Sample lang, no? Buti na lang may mga papel na kumalapit dito. If the mail is smaller, okay, than your, uh, uh, ano tawag ito? Attachment. Okay, if your attachment is like this, a piece of paper, a bond paper, letter size, if the mail is bigger than this, for example, this one is picture, mas malaki yung letter, yung attached letter niya doon sa items should be placed on the front. Okay, ilalagay niya siya sa harapan. Okay, doon sa mismong letter. Kung mas malaki, okay, for example, this one is the envelope, And there is some attached file which is bigger than the letter so it should be placed at the back. Okay? Kagaya niyan. May letter tapos merong item sa likod. Dapat sa likod siya. Hindi siya pwede sa may harapan kasi matatakpan niya yung letter, yung indicates ng letter. Okay? That's how you sort it. That's how you make it uh, 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 ano yun? Uh, how, how you make enclosure. No? Okay, so ito malaki to, mas malaki to sa sa piece of paper na hawak ko. Okay? You should know how to do it, no? Bilang secretary, dapat alam niyo 'yung mga ganyang klaseng bagay. When an envelope contains checks, ito 'yung sinasabi ko, money, orders or cash, you may do the following procedures. Number one, If your boss, if your bro, if your boss, brother, prefers to include the remittance within the letter, it should be attached of the front of the letter. If the remittance is to be separated, you, separated, you should place it in the cash box or send it to the cashier, which is the, the accounting. Always make records of all remittances in a logbook. Example, the note should be read, receive 1,500 check number, one, blah, 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 on PCID and forwarded to the accounting department receiver. Dapat mata, mayro mag, ma, mapipirmahan ng receiver date and your initials. Sample. Ayan. I'm back. Okay. Sample lang, no? Sample lang. Uh, stop ko lang muna yung sharing natin. Okay. So, speaker view. Asan na yun? Asan na yung speaker view? Pin. Okay. So, if nakikita nyo na ako sa screen, malaki na, no? 
this is example of, ay, di ko pwedeng ipakita yung account number, ha? Okay, this is a sample of checks letter. Okay, if the if you are going to deliver it to the other department, the check should be on the front of the letter. Okay, so this checks, okay, indicates, okay, the attachment of the details anong meron doon sa check eh. Magkano, para kanino, at para saan. Okay? Nakalagay yan doon sa mismong papel attachment. And the third, na meron kayong, uh, na meron kayong papel is the attachment or the letter okay, indicates what are, uh, what will be now happen no, to, the, to, the, to the checks that you receive. Okay? So this is example. No? Sample lang to. Okay, nang pag-aayos ng documents if you are receiving the checks. If you need to forward it to the accounting department, you need to indicate that this certain amount of checks are forwarded to the accounting department signed. Okay, kung sino yung nag-receive, magkano yung receive at uh, tawag nito at uh, kailan na-receive. Okay, kapag ganon, ang gagawin mo, you will just simply remove the checks and the letter mapupunta sa iyo yung receiving receiving uh, uh, receiving paper okay sa iyo to itatago mo to ilalagay mo sa folder na kung saan naka-indicate yung mga pinadala mong mga letters okay this is just a sample lang no this one is accounting accounting side na to Okay, buti na lang available dito yung mga accounting namin. At isa, pakita ko sa inyo yung documents na ganito. Okay? Mahirap din mag ng mga papers. Hindi na hindi siya hindi siya basta-basta. Class, hindi siya hindi siya basta-basta ang ano. Hindi siya basta-basta ginagawa. Okay? Especially when you are when you are in the filing of different I mean the documents, no? Mahirap. As in it's it's a quite uh, uh, especially kapag nagkamali ka pa ng pag-deliver mo ng documents. It will, uh, it will, it will affect no the company. So you should be careful on this, uh, natin mga items nito. Okay. So that will be that. Those are the guidance no guidelines when you are removing the contents. Okay. Next slide, time. Disposition, disposition of envelope. Okay, disposition of envelopes, no? Okay, pag sinabi natin disposition of envelopes, these are preparing, no? Your different envelopes, okay? And you are keeping these envelopes, okay? The information, the details, or the any, uh, any contents, no? From this envelope, okay? That can, that, 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 that this information is, no longer useful, <laughs> okay? But, okay, you need to keep this kind of envelopes. There are a number of reasons for keeping the envelopes until you are sure that the information they contain is no longer useful. Here are some reasons why the envelope may be needed. If the envelope contains a payment for something, the postmark on the envelope determines that payment is mailed within the discount period. Okay? Ito naman yung usually gagawin mo naman to, mga ganitong klaseng uh, uh, envelope na itatago mo siya into filing cabinet. No? Kasi these are kind of uh, envelopes that you will be needed in the future. Okay? Pero for meantime, you need to, you need to what? You need to organize these things. Especially if, if, if some receivables no account receivables na kailangan mong i-keep okay within your office okay legal matters such as acceptance as an offer may hinge on the date of the mailing stamp on the envelope kaya importante na meron kayong stamp or time stamp no whether you receive 
the envelope or you deliver or you send no the receiving copy it's important no to have a date with it with it okay dapat may date yon kasi baka mamaya the other company is expecting you to send the mail within this period and eh, send mo na pala yung mail okay na nakalagay doon yung receiving copy with date and signatory so you uh, in your position wala kang fault okay kasi bakit na send mo yung mail within the date okay na kailangan nila yung document so hindi mo na problem yon okay problem na yon within their company kaya ay importante okay sa atin no kapag magse-send ka ng documents may receiving copy Okay, para sure ka na may pang backup na legal documents na pwede mong isupalpal, sorry, pwede mong ipakita sa kanila no, na send ko na yung documents within the given period of time. Okay? So all they, all they have to do is to find it. Well, whatever, kung saan man ang galing yung documents na yun, as long as you have the receiving date, the right person to receive the letter Okay, nakalagay doon sa mismong receiving copy na meron ka. Kaya kaya kayo, mga secretary no, kapag magpapadala kayo ng ng in ng data no ng, ng mga letters, napakaimportante na meron kayong receiving copy. Kasi that receiving copy is your legal basis that the documents needed by a certain kind of company is signed and received by the uh, respective people no kasi that could be uh, your legal no that could be your legal basis okay na na send mo na yung ganitong classing documents okay kaya minsan mapapansin niyo kapag once na magkukumpleto kayo ng documents o binigyan sa inyo yung diploma no ang ginagawa meron kayong receiving copy okay kasi it's important no na uh, na meron kayo mga ganong bagay kasi para hindi na maging paulit-ulit yung items na ito. Malalobat na ako. Wait lang. Okay? So those example natin ng, ano, ng having the receiving, the receiving copy. Okay? For our legal matters. Okay? The letter may not contain a return address and the envelope might have the information, information in such case a staple the envelope to the letter even after careful wait lang po ah okay even after careful checking you may have overlooked the important enclosure which are still in the envelope okay kaya importante na importante na na nag-aayos kayo ng mga letters okay kasi there are some letters that He, ano yun, you, for example, na forgot mong may laman pala yung envelopes. No? Ang nangyari, yung pinaka-importante yung file nandun na pala sa disposition of envelopes. Nung chinect mo yung envelopes, nandun pa pala yung letter na hinahanap ng boss mo. Kaya hindi ka pwedeng mag-dispose agad ng mga envelopes na receive mo through mail. Kasi that could be contained in the future, no references of the sender or the receiver uh, in terms of information. Okay, or probably there are piece of paper okay, that you forgot not to remove in the envelope and then for the future helps, you will see it there. Okay, kaya hindi tayo basta-basta nagtatapo ng mga envelopes na nare-receive natin in the company. Okay, next. Guidelines in dating, in date, and in time stamping. Okay. So date and time stamping natin. So this will be the last topic natin. No? The late na, and then we will have our uh, the, the, the sending of 50 pesos low chart. <laughs> Ayan. So all incoming mails should show the date and time of receipt. Okay. Such as information can be important. The date stamp. If there was delay between the time and the item was mailed and the time was delivered, the date and stamp will show up to this discrepancy. Okay? Again, 
if na send sa iyo yung email, ah nawala, nawala yung nawala kayo. Wait lang. Wala na send kayo. Bakit hindi ko kayo makita? Okay. Anyway, baka na dito lang kayo sa baba. <laughs> hindi ko kayo makita. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> You will see, uh, I mean, from the time that it, it, it was being mailed and the time that it's being delivered, then you will see the time or the date and time discrepancies. So it, it is a way of appealing. No? Pwede mo sa maging evidence in appealing. Oh, minail mo yung, ano, yung, uh, yung letter. Pero ito yung date na na-receive ko yung email. So there are there are dates or time discrepancy that could be a legal basis no For example that is an urgent letter okay kaya lang dahil sa pagdeliver ng kartero or ng post office may delay ng discrepancies ng dates and time So that could be your uh uh legal uh documents no na meron kang discrepancy sa pag uh, pagdeliver ng letter Okay so pwede mo siyang gamitin legal basis The date record also serve as the reminder to whoever is processing the mail and that time is passing and prompt action is desirable. Okay? So, pwede mo siyang, pwede mo siyang i-prompt action. Okay? Kung kailangan naman talaga. For example, eh, kasalanan kasi ng post office. Ito yung date na mail. Ito yung date na, example, isang taon na nakalipas bago ma-deliver yung mail. So, ang problema doon is the post. Kasi bakit hindi bumalik agad yung mail doon sa nagpadala ng letter? Okay? So kapag uh, kapag problema yon then that's the time that you will create an action or prompt action. Okay? If 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 applicable doon sa doon sa ano sa sa process. Okay? Stamp every letter in the same place preferably in the upper right hand corner. or in the space between the letterhead and the body of the letter. Okay? So, may mga stamp yan. Nakikita niyo yung parang office, uh, yan, yung post office stamp. Ayan, nakalagay yan doon. Magazine, circulars, catalogs, and booklets should also be stamped in our, in, in sorry, in one place, preferably on the front or back cover, use the rubber date stamp that prints receive and the month, the day, in the year plus your initials that you receive the item okay when the stamp is not available write the above information in long hand when you say long hand bare hand yan okay so meron pa ba okay date stamp okay date stamp natin the time stamp okay exactly the exact time that means is received is also important 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 p.m. Okay, is uh, uh, considered as important. Always include the time the mail was received by your office. Okay? You will not just simply sign it, uh, sign and uh, put the, uh, the, your initials in the date. You also include the time that the mail is being received, okay? So information is useful, especially in the processing of orders in a maintaining customer credit record guidelines in routing mail. So the time, kasi di alam niyo naman minsan sa company kasi merong first in, first, uh, merong, merong ano yun, yung first come, first serve. So if that, if syempre, kapag nakansin mo naman yung email ng 4.30, so hindi naman pwede siya yung mauna, natapusin mo compared sa nag-send ng 2 o'clock. Okay? So example yan ng mga ganong klase. Kaya importante na meron kayong time. Okay? Na nilalagay doon sa pag-deliver or pag-receive ng mail. The routing can be done by attaching to them the routing slip containing the names of those who are see it. You would prepare such a slip as, a, as you process the mail and attach to it the material to be routed so that the everyone in the organization who is concerned with the subject of the letter can see it. Okay, so ano yan eh, meron kang uh, routing slip. So this is example of routing slip. Okay, so sa routing slip natin, nakalagay yung sample, nakalagay yung routing slip, 
yung ka, yung uh, uh, category niya okay to and date sa date kalagay doon yung uh, time and uh, yeah the date okay so may nakalagay ka na to then either rush attend information comments approval signature note and return take up with me and find okay and then the date and then signature of the sender okay para ma para para uh, mas umikot yung tinatawag nating routing slip mapabilis siya at makapunta diretso sa mismong department or person uh, connected to or concerned to rather okay so that's uh, the next example lang natin ng ating date and time uh, stamping and that will be the post ng ating lecture uh, which is uh, we will continue on the next meeting monday okay so uh, any questions tayo any questions mo? Nagulo na yung buhok mo. Nagulo. <laughs> Ayan. So, okay. So, we are 35. Dati nag-50 tayo. Bakit ngayon 35? Bakit tayo merong ano, maraming absent ngayon? Ang yun na ba makinig sa akin? <laughs> Ayan. For those who are listening to our recorded lines, no, you can uh, simply uh, comment no, your names and uh, your name and branch where you are for and uh, to consider you as part no. Uh, Alam so, kayo, pag yung mga 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 Okay, so thank you for uh, thank you for having with me our your time. Dalawang oras, uh, isang oras, may hindi isang oras is very valuable to our uh, our lectures. Okay, to understand very detailed. No, our lectures. I thank you so much for having with me. And ingat kayo lagi jan. Wag kayong wag kayong ano wag kayong alis. I stop po lang yung recording natin.